What's up, guys? Uh, the phone you saw in that old intro there is the Kin 2M, designed by Microsoft, built by Sharp, and overall, it is a great feature phone from Verizon, and uh, if not the best feature phone for Verizon. And basically, I'm going to do a review for it for Techno Buffalo's "What's in Your Pocket" review your phone contest um, video submission response thing basically do dad whatever you want to call it um, but basically I'm gonna do that and uh, see if I can win um, if you guys hear my voice that sounds a little bit different it's cuz uh, I'm a bit sick have a little strep throat uh, nothing too bad uh, took some antibiotics and boy these antibiotics they're huge I mean here it is Look, look at that. It's like the size of half a Cheeto. And you gotta swallow that thing down your throat. That, that's huge. <laughs> but yeah, back to this video. Uh, if it is a bit shaky, it's cause, uh, there's my tripod. And the reason my camera's not on my tripod is cause, um, couldn't find the adapter to put it on. Yeah, I got to cut this by hand. And, uh, okay, well, there is a, uh, sub a uh, little thing on how the uh, notification works. You get a little bubble like that, and uh, they just basically pop up. And eventually, I'll just say you have too many messages basically to show. But uh, yeah, that's how it works. Um, right here, what you're seeing is a 320 by 480 pixel, uh, 3.4 inch diagonally capacitive touchscreen, which is a lot better than a uh, resistive touchscreen like on other. Uh, feature phones from Verizon like the Samsung Intensity or LG Cosmos Touch. I have the Samsung Intensity right here in my hand. Yeah. Capacitive touchscreen, great plus because this did used to be a smartphone and because it was a smartphone it does have a 600 megahertz NVIDIA Tegra 2600 processor which is pretty fast now for a feature phone and it's got 8 gigabytes of internal storage uh, with no external storage support however but 8 gigabytes pretty decent and uh, 256 megabytes of RAM with wait for it wait for it 802.1 yeah I just thought about 802.1 something I totally forgot now. 80, something Wi-Fi okay it's got Wi-Fi B and G support uh, no N uh, B and G Wi-Fi support that sounds really weird I was trying to cough and I was like okay B and G Wi-Fi support and uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and take another walk through this device. Uh, on here, you got the speaker, home, and uh, back button. Long press for uh, home, short click for uh, back. On the left side, uh, nothing but the uh, little button to take the battery out. On top, you have the 3.5mm uh, headphone jack along with the sleep away button. And on the right, you have the volume rockers along with the dedicated camera button. On the back, you have a 8 megapixel camera with autofocus and LED flash along with 700 720p video recording I don't know why I'm stumbling through my words right now 720p HD video recording pretty decent camera on the bottom here you have a uh, micro s micro s micro USB 2.0 support and yeah let's go ahead and unlock this device and let's go ahead and go to the home menu uh, no app store on this device because it is a feature phone, but uh, you have a built-in Zoom player right here with everything you'd find on a Zoom HD basically except for apps and uh, radio, if anyone still listens to the radio. <laughs> uh, I don't even know. Do you still listen to radio? Go ahead and comment if you still listen to radio in the bottom. Uh, but yeah. Uh, on the right here you have another screen that basically shows you your favorites that you can add and uh, it shows that our contact picture if you have it on the home screen you can move these around just um, press with two fingers because it does have multi-touch support and uh, touch with two fingers again to uh, get it done with alright so uh, let's go into the messages and uh, new messages will appear on top with a little green bar on the left and it basically shows every single message you've had since the first day you got the device and uh, inside the messages it does include the call log um, which is pretty cool and your missed calls so it does combine messages and calls even though you can go into the 
since you don't have to go into the phone log and view your calls. Um, this does give more detailed uh, list where it gives you uh, the seconds you call and the actual time you called. And on the left, you can go ahead and uh, type in new call. Or if you're too lazy to do that, you can just go ahead and push the little call button down here. Or if you go into your messages and uh, someone recently called you, so you have a missed call, let's see, or you called someone recently, you want to call them again, um, there is a call back button right here in green where you can just push and I'll call them, which is pretty neat. And uh, it does have multimedia messaging, which is pretty cool. Um, you can also have multiple contacts in one message. And uh, threaded messages, obviously. And yeah, let, let's see what else other features are. Let's go into camera and take a look at the camera here. Uh, White Castle Burger picture. Uh, the 8 megapixel camera is really, really nice. Uh, this camera doesn't do it great justice, but the picture is pretty nice and crisp. And uh, you can add a description and uh, share it with uh, messaging here. Uh, no geotagging on the uh, smart on the feature phone version. It does have video. Uh, here's a little video of a birthday, and uh, yeah, it has this familiar zoom features. And uh, the video quality is pretty decent for a uh, for a phone. And uh, yeah, uh, another screen here with your favorite pictures and all pictures that you synced with your uh, zoom. Uh, the actual zoom app on your uh, phone or on your computer and uh, here I have it in the uh, video uh, you can go ahead and switch to photos if you'd like and uh, get the switch there we go uh, as I said it does have autofocus which is why it has that uh, little square there and it, you have some uh, settings here to play around with not too many but uh, it's not too bad let's get a little back to the home it does have an email app and a web browser um, as I said before, and included in the web browser is uh, Pinch to Zoom, and as I said before, Wi Fi. And you can go ahead and use the uh, physical uh, landscape keyboard as there's no on screen keyboard to type with. Uh, but on the keyboard, it does have a dedicated uh, phone button, uh, alternate button, and a really big space bar, which I love. A smiley face button and a search button next to that. Uh, the buttons are pretty decent. Uh, they're a little bit gummy at times, but uh, I can type pretty well with this. Um, I, I'd say this keyboard is a lot better than compared to the uh, the mushy Samsung type keyboards with uh, the uh, extra number row, dedicated number row, and two button spacebar, which is way too small. And the uh, dedicated number row just squishes things together too much for my liking. Because, I mean, do you really push all of these numbers one through? zero that many times that you'd actually need an extra row just for that I didn't think so so I like how it's just got three uh, rows of letters and this last bottom row for the keyboard and such and uh, it does have full Java support so you can go ahead and play Java games on here if you'd like over Wi-Fi or 3G if you do have a data plan on this um, but other than that it's a very decent device uh, $50 or now I believe it's free on Verizon's website um, so I definitely suggest picking this up before they discontinue it it's an awesome awesome device uh, probably the best feature phone Verizon has to offer um, great features uh, very nice and responsive most of the time and the capacitive touchscreen along with the Wi-Fi and uh, keyboard really puts this over the top and uh, just having the camera being such crisp 8 megapixels along with HD video recording just in case you'd ever like to capture some videos um, puts that even higher above any other device you can find and the form factor actually it, it looks really big but it's actually not that big if you compare it to the uh, Samsung intensity here um, height wise the uh, Samsung intensity is a little bit better bit uh, bigger because the corners on this are curved and yeah uh, lengthwise it is a little bit taller but it's not too bad it looks big and bulky but you know it, it's a very small device actually uh, not too heavy and the battery life on this thing is amazing if you have Wi-Fi turned off when you're not using it um, I've had uh, actually 
two and a half days of uh, moderate texting and calling on this device on one charge and it can go for like five days if you don't even use it uh, definitely great um, battery life on this thing and uh, if you pop open the battery cover it's got a nice white little battery right here which is pretty cool and it's this kin so yeah awesome device definitely um, if you're looking to upgrade since your contract expired great device to pick up anytime um, all the features because it was a smartphone put it over the top compared to any other feature phone There's just basically no comparison uh, other than that Fozzy13 uh, signing off here um, like this video I'm gonna be posting it on Techno Buffalo hope I win and get put on their main site or whatever happened to you I totally forgot now I, I had to reshoot this thing a few times but yeah that's it for this video guys I'm gonna turn it off now yep gonna turn it off so yeah see you guys next time